Hey, what's going on everybody? Ryan Huggins here, winwithryan.com. Coming to you today with a great video on credit repair. So as a real estate agent, I run into multiple people that are really excited, they really wanna buy a house, and then it comes down to it and their credit just doesn't allow them to get there. Or I've also had myself and friends, you know, you go out to buy a car, you're really excited, it says, uh, you know, uh, $2,000 down, $300 a month payments, and then you end up driving the car, you get all excited, they run your credit and come to find out it's $600 a month. Well, that's all because of credit. And what I've been finding is that credit is sometimes not accurate. And so let's talk about credit repair in this video. Let's go. All right, hey everybody, let's go ahead and jump right in. Let's get into credit repair. What is credit repair? Hey, also don't forget to like and subscribe to the video, please and thank you. We were just doing some research on our channel and it shows here 80% of the people watching our videos are not subscribed. So please, please, please hit that subscribe button. We're only putting out good content and it would help us out tremendously. We are on our way to a thousand subscribers and with your help, we can get there. So let's talk about credit repair. What is credit repair? Credit repair is the process of fixing poor credit standings that may have deteriorated for a variety of different reasons. Repairing credit standings may be as simple as disputing mistaken information with the credit agencies Identity theft and the damage occurred. Well, they have a typo there. So identity theft and the damage they in the identity theft and the damage incurred may require extensive credit repair work. Another form of credit repair is to deal with fundamental financial issues such as budgeting and begin to address legitimate concerns on part of the lenders. So the takeaways here on this very first paragraph, very simple, credit repair is the act of restoring or correcting a poor credit score. Credit repair can also involve paying a company to contact the credit bureau and point out anything on your credit report that is incorrect or untrue, then asking for it to be removed. You can do your own credit repair, but it can be labor intensive and time consuming. So by the way, I have done this. I have personally reached out to the credit bureaus and disputed multiple different things. And each time I've done it incorrectly for some reason, I follow the directions, but it comes back, oh, dispute is incorrect. So what I have done recently, um, for those of you that know, I'm also a real estate agent. So when I am running ads for real estate, trying to get new buyers and so on, uh, some of these uh, people that are applying or wanting to buy a home, they have less than perfect credit, right? So obviously the ideal goal is to get to about a 700 score, but we have some people coming in at a 620, uh, even sometimes below there, and they want to buy a house, which most lenders, unfortunately, uh, will not approve. But what we have found is a lot of times this stuff is on their accounts inappropriately. They stayed on too long. They shouldn't be on there at all. Um, whatever the case may be. So because of that, and I'm wanting to help these clients buy a home, I also recently just signed up to do uh, credit repair as well. So if you're out there and you're watching this video and you have a credit issue and you would like to get your credit repaired, feel free to reach out. My name is Ryan Huggins, win with Ryan like the channel, and you can email me at ryan at be cool advertising or just call me uh, on my phone number there. Or you can also reach out to me at Instagram or on Instagram at winwithryan, at winwithryan. So um, how does the credit repair work though? So credit repair works through numerous companies uh, or though numerous companies claim they can clean up bad credit reports, correcting erroneous information that may be that may appear on credit reports takes time and effort. The details cited to credit reporting agencies cannot be removed by a third party. Rather, the details, if misrepresentative or inaccurate, can be disputed, like we were just talking about. Credit repair companies may investigate such information, but so can the individual the report is assessing. Individuals are entitled to a free credit report every 12 months from credit reporting agencies, as well as when an adverse action is taken against them, 
such as being denied credit based on information in the report. So like if you've ever applied for a credit card and you were turned down or denied, they send you the, uh, the slip that you were denied and you can request at that point uh, a, a report of your credit. Disputes may be filed when incomplete or inaccurate information appears on their credit reports. Aside from correcting such information or catching fraudulent transaction on one's credit, rebuilding and repairing credit can rest more heavily on credit usage and credit activity. The payment history of the individual can be a significant factor on their credit standings. Taking steps to make sure payments are up to date or improve the payment schedule for outstanding credit can beneficially affect their credit score. Furthermore, the amount of credit used by the individual can also play a role. For instance, if an individual is actively using large portions of the credit available to them, even if they have been maintaining the minimum payments on time, the size of the debt they are carrying can negatively affect their credit rating. The issue is that their liquidity may be pressured by the overall debt against them. By taking measures to reduce their overall debt load, they may see, imp they may see improvements to their credit uh, profile. So what this means, um, let's talk about credit a little bit, right? So what I was told with credit is to have very, very few open accounts. And when you have a credit card, for example, what you're supposed to do is max it out every month and then pay it off prior to the bill coming out. So for example, today is the 30th of November. Let's say that your bill comes out tomorrow, which would be December 1st. Well, during the month of November, you're doing all your Christmas shopping, max it out and then pay it off. You were supposed to pay it off like today before the bill statement comes out tomorrow. Well, that is incorrect. That, um, that method does not actually work. I tried it for a very long time uh, because that's what I thought worked until I started doing research because credit is super important. What you're supposed to do is maintain 30% uh, usage or less of your total amount available. So let's say that you have three credit cards and all three of them have $1,000 credit limits. Well, you would want to make sure that you spread out your usage on the cards as well. You don't want to just max out one card. You would want to spend $300 on one card, $300 on the other, and $300 on the other, maintaining that 30% usage there, and then not go above that, right? So you want to spread it out amongst the cards, but ultimately it's the total volume of credit you have available. The other thing I was told is to close out all your accounts if they're not being used. That's inaccurate as well. If you have multiple credit cards open, all you want to do is pay them down to zero and leave them there because that is very positive because that shows you have a large open pool of credit and your debt to income ratio and all of that plays into there and you want to have as much available credit at all times as possible because it does help with your credit score, all right? So a number of businesses claiming to do credit repair have sprung up over time, and while some may provide services that can assist consumers, the actual results of their efforts may be questioned. In some cases, credit repair may require legal as well as financial expertise. Depending on the extent of the problem, it may require simply cleaning up misunderstandings while in other cases, professional intervention is needed. Now, this is very important. So when you are considering a credit repair service to go with, you wanna make sure that they can do multiple things for you, not just try to send in uh, dispute letters, okay? So for example, our company, uh, what they do, so for example, what our company does is there's an actual roadmap of how to get your credit on track. So month one, get started by activating your services. I've done that personally. I personally just signed up for this, uh, like I mentioned, to help others, but I'm gonna be doing this myself as well. My friend Billy, who got me involved on this, he had five marks on his account. Four of them were removed because they were inaccurate or disputable, which is really great. Um, the next thing is gonna be begin credit monitoring. So men met monitor your credit activity and watch alerts regarding so a lot of people understand about um, making sure that your credit is not being used by someone else or being used uh, in a, inappropriately for yourself even making sure that you're not overspending or anything like that 
Set up privacy armor, identity theft monitoring, and know your personal information is being protected. So the credit cards and your identity is protected. The next thing is that most companies don't do is help build credit, right? So you wanna build credit. So if you have really poor credit and you can't even get approved for a credit card, you wanna uh, apply for a secure credit card. Our company actually has a secure credit card that uh, we approve our clients for. Report, report your rent payments to the bureaus by enrolling in our credit my rent program. Most companies do not have that. You may be living at a house right now that doesn't uh, that that you you don't own. You're just renting it, but it's not being reported to the bureaus. We can set it up to where that is. That helps build your credit. Utilize the credit builder tool to provide you with information on how your credit score is calculated and tips and so much more. We have a 12 month process to really maximize building your credit. So what is also cool is our company in the back office, you can track your personal account. So like I said, I've signed up for this account as well. I'm using it. I had five accounts on Experian, five on Equifax and two in TransUnion. I knew that I had two on these uh, here. Those are really old accounts that I've already previously disputed multiple times. Couldn't get them off. But looking uh, with this service, they were able to find that I had some other outstanding uh, information on my account that I was not even aware of. And as of yesterday, when I signed up, we were able to send in dispute letters for those. And what's gonna be really great is some of these may come off, all of them may come off. There are no guarantees that they will come off, but at least I'm trying to move forward and make sure my credit is increasing and getting better, which is really exciting. All right, so continuing on from there, so now you've kind of seen how our service works, which is really cool, and you're also learning about credit services. So the fees for a credit repair company, they charge can vary typically. There are two types of fees, an initial setup fee and a monthly service fee. The initial fee can range anywhere from $10 to $100, while the monthly fee typically runs between $30 and $100 a month, although some companies do charge even more than that. When considering the fees, it's important to weigh what you're getting in return. According to the FTC, or Federal Trade Commission, credit repair firms can't legally do anything for you that you can't do for yourself, you just have to be willing to spend the time reviewing your credit reports for negative and inaccurate information. Reaching out to the credit bureaus to dispute that information and following up on those disputes to make sure that they're being investigated. If you're unable or unwilling to spend the time, then do your research to ensure you'll be working with one of the best credit repair companies out there. So credit repair is important. I'm really excited. Um, I was not just unable, because I've tried. I've tried multiple times, and the way that I did it must have been wrong. Not really sure what I did wrong, but the disputes never got resolved. I was also unwilling to try again, <laughs> and that's why I decided to sign up for the service. I'm really excited about the service. So if you are interested in the service too, uh, let me know in the comments, or you can also reach out to me on Instagram at winwithryan.com. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate all the support that you guys are getting. My Instagram channel is blowing up. Uh, everything's going well. Also, uh, for those of you guys that are signing up for the newsletter, I hope you guys are loving the information that's coming out. You can sign up for the newsletter, winwithryan.com, winwithryan.com, and get on our newsletter. Talk to you guys later. Have a wonderful night.